but it's so sweet. Oh, golly, that just smelled like I'm finna get took the pound town, so I ain't even playing. Hey guys, Nikki here, you're lit. Uh, she's the one that looks dressed, act too young for her age, but I'm still real, real lit. And today we will be talking fragrances. So if you're ready, let's get it. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys right now that show us your perfume collection is one of my most requested videos guys like most requested but i have so many bottles of perfume it is not like throwback platinum who could go through because i have a whole lot of them i've been doing perfume collection videos i can't go through and say this is this this is this this is this or the video will be extensively long so what i decided to do was take some questions on instagram about my collection of course right here i will insert a clip of my collection i have two of the ikea detoff towers they used to be so hard to get and they only used to be 60 dollars, and now they a hundred and some i want to say but yeah i have two of those full to capacity i cannot fit anything else in i am going to do a declutter in a minute but that's not for this video um and so i'm just going to scheme over that and what i have also been doing is a perfume tray um every vlog so that i can get use of the stuff that i kind of forgot about you know that just sits and i'm like oh, that's good why haven't i been using that All so right. anyway. really really quick this is my higher end there are most of the mason francis kirk de jones tom four some killian zerjoff louis vuitton creed right here we move into designer <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna name i just said i wasn't gonna do that down here are like my amir oohs and my dupes and my inspired buys that kind of stuff this is the perfume tray of the week we're on the other shelf here, the higher ends, bond number nines and BDKs and more Killian and House of Siage, Parfums, Demarley, Chanel, Gucci, and I should have cleaned this out before showing you guys, but it is what it is. So now that I've showed you guys my towers, now you understand why I'm just like, girl, I can't do a full perfume collection video, but we're going to get to these questions and i'm going to tell you guys some of my favorites must have most slept on in my opinion i always say i am not a perfumer i don't know if that's a word i'm not a part of the perfume top perfume committee perfume usher boy number one two three i'm not none of that i'm just a girl who loves beauty obviously hair makeup nails smelling good clothes looking good and i love perfume so i am not one of those the base note the middle notes the i'm not one of them <laughs> i have a whole bunch of fabulous sisters like fab finds by kedra fumi monet those type of people who can give you that kind of content but right now i'm just telling you guys my favorite and what smells good you know perfume is subject to change on everyone it changes on me i can hate something one season love something one season i'm not a spring scent fall scent summer scent type person i if i just feel the mood to wear that today that's what i'm gonna wear no matter how hot it is how cold it is what season it is so this video will be sponsored by none other than dossier they are a fragrance company. I love them. Their bottles start at $29 a bottle. They are very inexpensive. They create inspirations for our favorite brands, niche designer, all of that, guys. Dossier was like, girl, want us to send you some more bottles? And I was like, no, because if you guys can see, they over there. I already showed them to you. I do not need any more fragrances right now. If they come out with something new, I will but i don't need any right now so i said just send me diffusers because i love them so as mentioned before dossier perfumes are the inspiration for some of our favorites but they do have a speak easy collection that is not inspired by any of them they come in a red box like this 
same exact box. The, the other scents come in a box that's more like Manila, vanilla. <laughs> and this one right here is called Smoky Mezcal and Cucumber. This is the bottle right here, 1.7 fluid ounce. All dossier fragrances come exactly like this. Their Speak Easy collection and the other scents I was speaking of earlier. Um, it's just very simplistic to put on your vanity, you know very 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 good quality now this right here i am not gonna lie it's not my cup of tea i smell the the um, cucumber really strong and i'm not a cucumber type person with fragrances unless it's mixed with like melon or you know bath and body work type stuff but if you are a cucumber type person let's see what's all in here they do give you a card also that tells the notes there is Ooh, a lot of stuff I can't pronounce. Woods. That's what it is. I'm not really a woods person. And it, this is very woods. It has patchouli in it. And I promise you a whole lot of stuff I can't pronounce, guys. So the family of it is woody and aquatic. All right? Take my word on that. So that's this one right here. They do have other fragrances that is part of this collection. As a matter of fact, let's turn this into a giveaway because if I'm not going to wear it. I'm not going to let it sit up and collect dust. So that's one of their own blend. But you guys knew my favorite blends with ICA is Ambery Saffron, which is the Baccarat dupe. So this I have been talking about nonstop. Let me get it. <laughs> This right here is their Reed Diffuser, and this is Ambery Vanilla. It is inspired by YSL Black Opium. I keep this in a beauty room. Yeah, I'm almost out. This is what it looked like right here. Oh my gosh, this smells so freaking good and light up my entire beauty room. And with these, some one of you guys, thank you, told me that when it gets a little old, just take the sticks out and flip it, and it'll reactivate. So that's this one right here. So I love these so much. And like I said, really didn't need any more like perfume because I've tried everything on the Dossier website. So anything I pick out at this point, I'm just going to be repeating myself unless it's Ambery Saffron. Y'all know I have showed you guys four empty bottles of that. It's just good to me. And it stops me from using my three, four hundred dollar Baccarat so much. Okay, so let's go over these right here. Let the light come out. We bright up in here today. It's okay. Let's go over these. They sent over four new reads. So I'm just gonna go over the scents for you guys. This is Ambery Cherry, which is inspired by none other than Tom Ford Lodge Cherry. This will be probably my second favorite fragrance from Dossier. So of course I had to get it in a reed diffuser. Now dossier add some more scents to the reeds because i want to get all of my favorite scents in a reed does that make sense they don't have every self run in a reed like are you kidding me dossier and don't forget i have a discount code below i will leave click my link the discount code is in the description box right below the video and you can find dossier fragrances not reed diffusers at walmart so this one right here is called um <laughs> We have Gourmand White Flowers. Oh, that was almost my toe, y'all. Which is inspired by none other than Victor and Raw Flower Bum. Okay. Wherever that went, it is gonna have to stay there till I'm done with this segment. Okay. Can we pay the bills? Can we get the sponsors out the way? Hey. <laughs> All right, so this one right here is Floral Honeysuckle, which is inspired by Gucci Bloom. I know that's gonna hit because Gucci Bloom has like this very prominent, strong, loud. And in reeds, I feel like the louder fragrances make better reeds. Like the really soft, dainty, everyday type fragrances, I feel like the reeds don't hit the same. You get what I'm saying? So this is another Ambery Vanilla. Of course, I replaced the one that I already showed you guys. So like I said, like I said, I'm going to leave the link in etc. below. Make sure you check out Dossier. So let's get into these questions you guys ask. And I'm super sorry. I absolutely can't. I can't give one of them breeze away. I love them. So enter the perfume giveaway below. So let's move into the first question. Need my phone. How does the famous Arabian oil smell? All right. So the famous Arabian oil, which is... Can I even pronounce it? This is the famous Arabian oil right here. Sad part about it is I don't even know the name of this oil. So let me look it up. I'm having a connection problem. It's Harim Al Sultan Gold. 
the original so this went viral because a girl was on tiktok saying how when you put this on you will feel like you're on the beach with your titties out and etc i mean she hyped it and she sold the heck out of this so everybody wanted it right the problem is when everybody wants something here come the dupers here come the scammers so a lot of people make fakes and a lot of people have don't have the real thing. And so I feel like when I see people saying they don't like the way it smells or it's not strong or it's not everything she was describing, they got got and they don't have the real thing. So luckily, I was one of the ones that got got. I mean, not luckily. So I can show you guys both. Now, when I bought the fake one, I originally got the smaller bottle. Because I'm like, girl, if I don't like this, then I don't want to be stuck with a big bottle. But this is fake. It did come from Amazon yes the amazon that's why i hate that amazon lets like so many different sellers on there now but this is the fake one as you guys can see let me try to let it it like moves like water there is nothing oily about it all right there's no name on it there's no stamping on the bottom blah 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 so this is the real one right here of course there's the name on it there's the this now i would suggest if you want the real one get get it from a site called aroma concepts it's going to take a little longer, not a lot, like two weeks, but you're going to have the real thing. And as you guys can see, well, cause, not because I haven't used a lot, it's not moving as freely and et cetera as the other one was. So let's talk about the smell because ain't that what y'all asked me? I got to educate the people though. This smells so freaking good. The lady was not playing. I don't know what's in this and I don't know what's in the notes. So I'm going to describe what I smell. I smell pineapple. Hey, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I just smell pineapple. I smell peaches. I smell apples. I smell tropical. I smell on a cruise, on a beach. This do last. I dabbed it like on both of my arms, wrist or whatever. That's another thing about me. The oils and perfume makes me dizzy and stuff a lot. So a lot of you guys will see me spraying my clothes and you'll say, that's not the right way. Well, let me do it. That's going to stop me from being dizzy, okay? So this right here smells absolutely amazing. I think I got mine for 29 bucks. I can't think of any perfume that I have that this smell like, but it do smell like something I have. I just don't know what. But really tropical apples, peaches, pineapple. So if you're a fruity girl, definitely get this oil. Is it worth it? Definitely. Let's see what's up next on the roster. Your favorite. Y'all want to guess it? Who know me? Coming in at a whopping 300 and some dollars. <laughs> Let me try to clean the bottle off. I know y'all hate that. But hell, it gets used abusively. <laughs> I'm sorry because I got probably 300 and some bottles and still grab for this all the time. Gentle Fluidity Gold. This is made by Mason Francis Kirk DeJohn. That is the person or the man who makes Baccarat. So when everybody was going crazy over Baccarat, I got Baccarat, but I wasn't getting a hype then. I was like, why everybody love this? And then I'm just like, it's because Lil Baby be said, mentioning it in every other song. But then I eventually end up falling in love with Baccarat too because it's just a soft universal scent. But this right here, mm, this is my baby. This is my all time favorite mfk this is my third bottle i bought the the smart one ounce bottle at first used that up then i bought this size three ounce and then i got this for christmas and i'm almost out of this it's like a little under half i smell vanilla in this i guess i am a woozy person but it has to be mixed with like vanilla or peach i smell vanilla i smell cotton candy I smell roses, but it's all blended so beautifully. Like, this is my shh. Boy, you can't tell me nothing when I got this on. Every time I wear this, I get five million compliments. I walk in a room, people smell it. People hug me, they smell it. What is that? What is that? What is that? And it's just it's just my go-to scent, universal. I will spray this on morning, noon, night, dinner, breakfast, party, cruise, beach. I don't care. If I can't decide, this is what I'm reaching for. My all-time favorite scent. And it's been that way for about two years. Gentle Fluidity Go. What perfume is an absolute must-have besides the MFK one? So this, this question was kind of confusing to me because MFK is a brand. So are you asking me what brand in general is a must-have? 
or if you're asking me what brand is a must have besides the MFK one, I would always say Killian probably if you're a niche. If you're a designer, I would say Tom Ford, all right? So I brought out something from both because I didn't really technically get what I was being asked or it wasn't broken down. So if you wanna go with designer, I said Tom Ford, but you gotta have Valentino Born in Roma. Now, this is my third bottle of this too. This is a brand new bottle. This is universal. This shit smells so dang on good. Mm-hmm. If I hit pan, that's not what this is. This is not a makeup video. If I am out of anything, it's good. Because that means I reach for it. This is another no-brainer. Like, like the one I just showed you. The Mason Francis Kirk John Gentle Fluidy Go. This is another no-brainer. Now, this right here. I can't even grasp what this smell like. This is powdery. It's gourmet. It's, this is fruity, it's powdery, it's just universal. You can just grab this. I don't even know what's in this. Like I said, it just smells really, really good. I love this. Love that. Why does that smell so freaking good like that? Valentino Born Aroma. And if you want to go, this is my niche. It's actually Lancome, but this is $190. So that's why I'm bringing this out too. It's called Oud Bouquet. And it's made by Mason Lancome. It's around 100 maybe it's 200 and something dollars. This is very hard to find though. Someone did a perfume sale and got rid of it. And I looked up on it and got it like that. I hated this at first. I ain't gonna even lie. I was like, what? Because all I smelt was oud and I'm not a oud person. I won't say that. It has to be balanced well. You have to mix oud well for me to love it. So I was like, mm, mm. I know y'all didn't hype me up to get this, but when this dry down, this should last about 40 hours. I mean, I've never tested that, but <laughs> you get my, you get what I'm trying to say. This smell, why does this smell so freaking good? Of course there's oud in here, floral. Then there's a sweetness to it. I don't know what that sweetness is. It almost smells like marshmallow to me. It just smells good, guys. So, yeah, yeah. If you don't want to get the MFK Baccarat Gentle Fluidy Go, here are two options. Okay? Because they're going to hit just as good. So, let's go to the next question. Someone said, how does that one smell? So, I'm assuming they're referring to the one that I put in the background of asking the questions, which I just got. <laughs> Latafa. Latafa going to hit okay it's an amazon brand it's a arabian brand okay i got it from amazon so i haven't even hauled this shit or showed it yet so let me just show you guys right now so this is called god quad Qu this is called quad al for bon for son sorry That's what the bottle looked like right there. This came from Amazon and this was only $20. Hit. Here's another tropical one. This smells like pineapple. It smells like coconut. It smells really, really good and it's only $20. Did you hear me? So I would definitely highly recommend this. And I think you guys know everything I bring up today will be linked below the video. Oh, that smells exceptional. I got this because Fumi Monet said that this is a classic and can be mixed with any scent during the summer to make it tropical and summery. Summery? Ha! <laughs> Whatever. Um, and so I grabbed it and she was absolutely right. You get pineapples, you get coconut, you get tropical beach, Cancun, Aruba, Bahama. Come on, pretty mama. Okay. <laughs> That's what you get. Yeah, this next question was so hard because it was what's which which <laughs> which ones are your favorite sexy fall scent now let me tell you all this was hard because it's just hard to narrow it down and then you have different price ranges and etc but i'm just gonna go for some that's and like i said i don't wear a fall summer i don't do that but let's go with nomad by bun number nine this was gifted to me it was on my wish list this is udi but it's so sweet. Oh, golly, that just felt like I'm finna get took the pound town. So I ain't even playing. 
This smells so freaking good. It's a little pricey though. It's full of oud, ironically. But that dry down a beast. It does, see, oud smell like a tire or something, like a tire on an 18 wheeler or something to me. But when it's mixed well, it's good as hell. Oh, I need to be a freestyler. Next, BDK, Grish Chanel. Mine is signed, cause I met the owner. <laughs> but no, this right here is sexy. This is giving very much man or woman. Oh, see, that's why you need to visit your collection, cause you'll be finding little stuff all over again. This should smell so good. Cause this smells so good. Oh, this is very, this gotta be unisex. I think it is, probably because of the color of the juice it is. It's sweet though. This is so grown and sexy. Oh, this smell good. That's all I can tell y'all, it smell good. It is sweet, but it's unisex. That's all I can tell y'all, it smell good. It is unisex, but it is sweet. You know, I'm not no manly, I don't want to smell like no man. I don't. I, I be having a hard time keeping them off me. Like, bro, so I don't want to smell like them because I don't want to walk by them and I already be bag, bag, but no, just glad. But anyway, this one right here, Cambridge Club. Woo hoo hoo. This is like gentle fluidity go on crack. No, no, no. I mean, on steroids. That's how I can describe this smell just like it, but just stronger and more mm, in your face. That's that right there. And I did show y'all the Grish Chanel bottle. There you have it. So I got two designer scents I pulled out for you guys because I know everybody don't want to spend two, no, three, four, five hundred dollars on a bottle of perfume. Girl, I still got the little plastic on here. This is Chloe Nomad. Pretty Brew MUA hipped me onto this. And I didn't get it at first, but whoa, this smells so god dang good. This is, this has a fruity hint to it too, but not like, child, I don't know, it just smells good. Why did I do this video? Because I can't describe nothing right. This wasn't that type of video, I guess. This is me telling you my favorites and stuff. Mmm. Mmm, that smells so good to me. I smell apples in that too. Apples, powder. Mm. Oh, that smell good. Chloe Nomad. That's Chloe Nomad right there, guys. This is another one that at first I was like, what you talking about, Willis? When everybody was talking about it, because, woo, the initial, don't ever, see, this is what you do, spread on you. Walk around the mall or wherever you at and then decide if you want a fragrance, because when you go by the initial, you'll never know. This is Twilly by Hermes. My God. This is all powder to me. There's your bottle right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, cause like just spraying this in this cap, I'm like. But when it dry down, it's so powdery and powerful and lasts so freaking long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, perfect for fall too, baby. Get this. So this next one say is from Nish Smells, my boy. Okay, he's on Instagram. We need another perfume dedicated video soon. I love hearing you talk about fragrances. Ooh, we covered that. I'll try y'all. Thumbs up if you want me to try. Oh my gosh, how would I do that? I would literally have to count, point the camera to the the um, case and just be like, this is this, this is this, this is this. Cause oh gosh, you can't be a sit down like this bringing that stuff back and forth. But I think about it, babe, just because I love you so much. Okay, favorite bottle in your collection. I love perfume bottles. Perfect decor. Let's go grab it. So once again, I kind of cheated. I gave y'all something in the, ooh, I think this was $400 range and something you can get it for like 70 bucks at Ulta. This was hard. <laughs> Because with my perfume bottles, I'm kind of simplistic. That's like with the Carolina Herreras. I kind of hate the high heel look, but I love it. It's kind of weird. But this is Mini Mouse by the House of Siage, which also is one of my favorite scents. This is Raspberry Marshmallow. 
it smells so good, but some it can get kind of childish and start smelling like Play-Doh, Play-Doh a little bit, but it's, it's really good to me. So this is the bottle. Look at this bottle. Oh my gosh. This is super hard to get as well. But this bottle go hard and the fragrance do too. The juice do too. Look at the inside. What'd that say? Disney. So yeah, I really love that. And then Marc Jacobs came out with Perfect and Perfect Intense. And these bottles are adored. Look at the tops. <laughs> yeah which scent is your most long lasting that's also decently priced under $200 long lasting and decently priced BRB so I'm gonna just give y'all three again on this one y'all gonna love this this is the highest one it is Versace Eros this bottle looks full cause it is but this is my second bottle so this used to be my favorite before the hype of perfume. And then I got into perfume. And as you guys can see, I don't wear it. But this lasts a long time and it's real strong. I don't know which version this is because my other bottle was all gold. Um, maybe it's the toilet because this was gifted to me when I had a meet and greet at Dillard's. But... That's number one. Coming in at a whopping 70 bucks, which used to be 35. Jasmine Wisp. Oh my gosh. Can definitely get this from Amazon. I don't even know anywhere else. I don't even know anywhere else you can get this. You guys, if you watched the recent vlog, Memorial Day, I was on a boat. The man chased me down the steps. And did. It was like I smelled that in the wind the whole dang cruise. And it was me. <laughs> this is what I had on. This is fruity. This is peachy. This is woodsy. This smells so freaking good and lasts so long. I just hate that like people like me make it popular and they go up on it so much. Like this is so good. Look how much I've used. Can y'all see? Um if you're on oh shoot this is a dupe for one of those um zerjov scents the one that come in a turquoise bottle can y'all see now the one that come in a turquoise bottle pura eba pura hold up because i want to know what i'm talking about <laughs> yeah it got me messed up yeah yeah y'all put me on the spot with the question so i didn't know what to research first but i got y'all Child, my phone moving like I got AOL today. I don't know what's going on because, baby, I pay my bills. Zerjoff Herba Pura. Maybe I should get that. Should we go to the sitting room tomorrow and get that? Because, baby, I deserve it. My mama D-Boys, honey. A new bottle of perfume. Okay, so this is the last one, Casablanca. This is another Swiss Arabian. Mm, 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 mm. This is caramel, marshmallows. Good as heck. Good as heck. I'm a gourmand type of person, but more like... Hell, I don't know. If it smell good, it smell good. This is another one of those that was 39 and now they be trying to have it for $70. $70, okay? That's what that bottle look like right there. This smells like... You know those suckers that I love that y'all be sending me to my P.O. Box? The caramel apple suckers? Mm-hmm. That's what this smell like. This smell just like that. There you go. There's your three of them. All under 200. Alright, y'all ready for the next question? Y'all, what did I just spray on me? I gotta look in the editor. Because I smell too good. <laughs> and do. Mm-hmm. Alright, so that's that whole sheet. Oh, this is the last one, guys. Because I cut it off because I don't want the video to be two hours. Top five fragrances women need. Oh, I feel like it's a lot I ain't talked about. Yeah, we got to do a part two, y'all. Leave me some more comments. Leave me some more questions in the comments, and I'll answer them in a part two. Let me get the top five, top five. <laughs> now, I decided since it's the end of real y'all on in with a treat, I'm going to give y'all five designer and five 
niche or high end. Now, now, this is excluding all the ones I already showed y'all, okay? Oh, this is hard. Because I really value myself on building my collection of everything I like. Does that make sense? So, this is our designer, which you can go into Dealers Macy Ulta and get for probably under 200 100 on a good day. This is Paco Rabanne Fang. I hesitated so much on that because I hate the bottle, but the juice so good. It gets very much coconut. Uh, if you love coconut, please get that. Y'all know. <laughs> Y'all know. Mademoiselle is my girl. Now, if she ain't your cup of tea, that's fine. But I got the body wash, the, the bubble bath, the shimmer gel, the intense, the light. The, I got everything because it's my girl. It's my girl. This one right here is just the regular one, I want to say. I literally just gave my daughter my intense. What was I thinking? I gave her extra lotion I had, and she wanted to match the perfume, so that's what I was thinking. This is Billie Eilish. Now, this is why I love this, because this is the original one. I used to be a pink sugar girl, and to me, this is like pink sugar on steroids. It smells just like it to me. Or it's in the same family that sweet cotton candy is smell, but a little bit more grown and sexy. Love that. Yeah. You see what I'm doing? Because it's the old bottle, and it's just, I, I understand why they stopped putting it in this bottle. This is Gucci Guilty. It doesn't come in this bottle anymore, but this is powder. Mm, let me put this on. I got everything on, don't I? This is good. This is so good. Every day, school, work. You just smell feminine and like a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like a motherfucking woman. Okay. And this one was inspired by Pockets and Bows. I didn't get the hype at first, but when I got it, I could not stop spraying this. This is floral. This is a floral scent. I definitely smell floral. This is Mont Blanc. Oh, yes, baby. This is like one of them, you don't have to think don't think when you about to go somewhere and you just i don't know what perfume to wear just grab this it's universal it's gonna hit every freaking time y'all want to hop into the high-end ones <laughs> do i have to say it we've been talking about her but i ain't showed her because y'all already know she that girl miss baccarat honey Mm-hmm. this is really it's saffron in here. It's sweet. Ooh, it's unisex. This can make you think of a sexy ass nine to five suit and tie put together man. Or it can make you think of a beautiful ass. I like to go on vacation. My life is together. I wear hats and sunglasses everywhere type woman i don't know it smells good <laughs> okay so of course being that this is my i don't lost count bottle i had two of this size i got a one ounce well my cousin took my one ounce this is exalte by fumi monet turkish rose this is one of those i don't have to think i just grab it Put me more now, y'all. You can only get the one ounce now, but it's good to me. If I mention Baccarat being that girl, who who else? Who else? <laughs> Here, Miss Delina Exclusive, which is signed by the owner as well. <laughs> I meet them all. <laughs> you not like smelling good but guys this is rose i smell powder but the rose is so beautiful in this and laid back oh my god so delina is good delina is very much that girl but delina exclusive is that girl big sister this is wedding day prom this is ribbon cutting day in my new business this is so freaking beautiful and it's loud. Oh my gosh, and it lasts so long. Parfums de Marley, Delina exclusive. And if I say something wrong, y'all be having brain fog. 
she correct me in the comments and keep it going don't make a big deal out of it another one which oh why this oh this one ain't signed because when i met the owner i bought this one that day so this is past that's why or maybe that's not why it's not signed because y'all will track it back to a blog and say i'm lying maybe i bought it resale i don't remember it's not signed though this is past that's why by bdk oh he done made this this video a couple of times I get very much tropical coconut out of this too, but ain't an ounce of coconut in it. I don't know what's in it. Clearly, it smells good. This is my like Cancun. This, oh, it's sweet. Mm, Cause you look so sweet. I love to smell sweet, but not childish. Do you get what I'm saying? I don't want to smell like my shit came out of Bath and Body Works Victoria's Secret. Nothing wrong with that, cause I got some over there. But you, y'all get my drift. I don't want to smell like my daughter. I said it like my daughter loves YSL Mon Perry, and that still smells a little juvenile to me. So that's what I mean by that. I don't want to smell like my baby girl. That's why I was surprised she liked Mademoiselle and took my shade. And my last one is Roger Aroha. How do you say it, guys? 51. And this is 51. That's the that's the name of it. <laughs> I actually have right behind me the hair mist to this. I have the hair mist to a lot of these if it, it comes in a hair mist. I use the hair mist more than the perfume because this, I think this bottle was 400, but the, the, which one is this? They have this, they have this, they have it in a clear bottle that's like 500 and some. Man, say, man, man, say ain't nobody finna pay no goddamn half a mortgage on no, what? Yeah, I will. But anyway, that's why I got this. Nah, y'all know why I got this one. It's purple. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please click the link below and check out Dossier. If some of these fragrances are too expensive for your blood. Dossier might have an inspiration for it that's only $29. Because their bottles start at $29. Um, everything will be linked below. And I'll see you all in my next video.